Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a one brand Tarte tutorial. So first I'm going to start off with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I do not have a Tarte primer, so I just primed with a different one off camera. And to put the foundation on my face, instead of just using the drops, I'm actually going to take what's on the um, dropper and rub it on my face. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to go in sections with this, so that way it dries evenly and I can blend it out a little bit at a time without having to worry about the entire face. I really like this foundation because of how lightweight it is and your natural skin still peeks through a little bit but it also has enough coverage and it's a nice base for all of the other face products you, you will lay down. Honestly, I think Tarte is one of the most uh, best high-end brands out there. And they have some of the best products, so I really recommend trying some of these products that I have mentioned in this video. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and right now this shade is too light for my skin tone, but I use it anyway because obviously it's the only Tarte concealer I had. And then I just put some of the foundation over it a little bit to darken it up so it wouldn't be so bright and in your face. And to set all of that, I'm taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay Pressed Powder and this Bamboo Naturals Foundation Brush to sort of set underneath the eye so it doesn't crease. And then for the whole face, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Face Powder Brush and set the rest of my face with this powder. For the eyes, I don't have a primer, so I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape and this Tarte Concealer Brush, and I am just going to spread that all over the eyelids and sort of carve out the underneath of the brows. And to set that, I'm just going to go back in with that face powder and use the same brush we used under the eyes and set that. For bronzer, I'm taking this bronzer and I am using this with my e.l.f. Flawless face brush. And I don't know the name off the top of my head, but it'll be in the description box down below. And I'm just using this to warm up the face. I love how smooth and easy to blend this bronzer was and how it complements my skin tone. I'm taking the blush in the Kind is the New Pretty palette on this blush brush by Crown and Tarte brushes are very pigmented and I used a little bit too much but I'm putting that right on the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm taking the highlighter in Exposed and I'm using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and I am just going to put this on the high points of my face. I don't know the specific name of this so it'll be in the description box down below, but I am putting this Tarte Lip Gloss all over my lips just for something simple. Going into my Holy Grail palette, the Tartlet and Boom palette, I am taking the shade Smarty Pants on my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer brush and using this as my transition shade and I am just placing this all into the crease. And then to deepen up the look, I am taking the shade Jet Setter right above it, which is just a darker color that I'm sticking more directly into the crease and on the outer edge of the crease with my IT Cosmetics Blending Brush. And to keep the look simple, I'm taking the shade Funny Girl on this Morphe Flat Shader Brush and I'm placing that all over the lid to add some sheen and sparkle. I really love this color.
And to highlight the brow bone, I'm going back in with the highlighter we used earlier in this very dense shader brush, and I'm going to put that right under the brow bone. And also my inner corners. To finish off the look, I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara because it's the waterproof version, and I'm just going to coat my lashes with that. And that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see another video like this in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.